Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up guys? I will Clay again. We are gonna chase some raccoons. Uh, a little late in the season. This would probably have been a better thing to do early fall, but we're gonna try to knock some numbers. Clay found this property and we're looking for beaver. I got a few beaver sets, but mostly gonna just throw out a couple days of uh, raccoons. Probably four checks, three checks. But look at this. I mean, just a hell of a trail going all up into that broken down stuff there. Like an old outhouse here. I mean, how long does it take to get the seat all worn like that? <laughs> a little tiny outhouse. I'm getting my head in there. So there's trails everywhere, guys. You'll see them as we go. But there's one right here also. It just runs straight up here. Boom, perfect little trail. There's probably a trail going out the other way. So we're sort of a couple dog proofs here. A couple over there. We got an assortment of stuff here, guys. Got some cat food. Got to have bait. And I got a few marshmallows. But mostly, we're going to lure them in with the old Trevor J. Raccoon candy. Got a pile of dog proofs. Got dukes. All kinds of stuff in there. Duke one and a half here. Got the brand new Duke 450. I didn't even degrease these. So we're just going to throw them on some step downs. A few beaver traps, some rebar, bucket for my cat food. Just an assortment. Clay's got a cage. He's got a few dog proofs over there. I don't know how much we're going to get out, but it'd be sweet to get all of this out, but we only got a few hours. What you got there, Willis? That's uh, like frying fish oil. Nice. It looks like it almost got blowed up and squirted all over your truck by your box. <laughs> so we got. A swamp over this way with coon trails zigzagging all over and we're gonna go set that up after we set this so stay tuned Pretty good trail Clay. Yeah, you don't put them right on the trail. You're I go off. I go off the side a little bit Definitely living in there Little hole right there too Nice trail though. Trail runs across here Straight down to the swamp here, for sure. Well guys, I don't know how to pick which trail. Like, I don't want to walk the dog, one dog roof here and there, man. Yeah, that was fresh. Both of these are. Even around this corner. It's so windy right here though. What'd you do? That happens. A lot. Alright guys, this two trails, they Y off right here. I don't know if you guys can pick it up in the camera, but there's also a trail over there. I got a little bit of a spot right here that I can put in a step down right here. Just a simple step down. I'm going to take all this dirt and I'm going to fling it over there where it doesn't look so disturbed. I don't even care about any of that. So I got straight out of the box Duke 450. It's got a center swivel. We got a swivel here. Wolf fangs hooked up to that. I'm gonna pound the wolf fang right in here. Just like that. Uh, 
boom dig that out a little bit we're gonna bed that trap right there cover up this chain and just a little bit of this other stuff and that's it right there that's a set trap see what happens we got two dog proofs there got the dog proof on that trail there clay's got something going on over here you see the, the raccoons going into this trash he's got a trail here if they're working around this thing here for sure clay's gonna put him in a dp there's a mongoose bike with some pegs on it there's their den right there clay they're going down the seat right through the hole oh yep right up there interesting well we got a lot of tra more traps out than i thought we were going to right off the get-go <laughs> well guys we got dog proof dog proof clay for the 330 and beavers are climbing up right there we got raccoon trails zigging and zagging all around this place so far i need to go on that other bank over there clay I'm gonna go see if I can make it there. If I can get a couple on that bank over there, maybe. We'll get them going down that side. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty worn down trail. We got some two sets over there. I might put a, might put a, uh, shoot, a pass around set over here somewhere. But I wanna get the raccoon sets right along that edge right there so that way we got that side covered too there that way we're not relying on them to just travel on one side i don't see any crossovers clay uh -uh. take a long step and that's it so there's a little bit of coon tracks here i kind of don't know where they go oh you can tell they're getting in and out right there though clay. right here they're climbing in and out going all along that way put two dog roots there they're going all up in there a trail oh yep trail here guys look at this guys boom up there where clay is there's all kinds of stuff happening boom around this bend. I mean, gee, you should look at this in the camera, Clay, how good that folks out. Goes into multiple trails there. It's like some kind of alien look. That way, look at this in the camera. And then if you look there, look at the trail. See them all branch off? Yep. So, guys, uh, all over. Uh, a lot more trails than I, I knew there was a lot of coons. At least we're hoping. Hoping it's one coon running in some marathons. Steps here. That root ball. There's not that great of a step there. So I'll be on the fence on that one. But you can tell they're using it. For sure here. And maybe around the corner they're using a for a toilet. We might put one there. Foothold. Or over here. Like there on the log. Yeah, they'd probably take that whole thing. Oh, see, there's the... Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they do. We got... This way is steep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, usually, you want to look up here for raccoon sign. There is a trail right up here. I can see that they're 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 crapping on these ledges for some reason. But the raccoons are also right on the edge. I mean, Clay, I'll let you throw one right there, right right on the edge, like right here, literally. We'll put the anchor okay. high so that way it's they don't pull it out the side for some reason. Yeah. Easy to go in. Set it. Marshmallow on the trigger for something to grab. Works really good. Keep takes the mice longer to eat it also. Because you're going to have mice. Maybe not so much here. But we'll put it right on the trail. A couple pieces of cat food in there. And raccoon lure right here on top. It's so strong. It was like black licorice. Really strong anise scent. And it's got all kinds of other sugars and then stuff in there. To keep them occupied. Put a dab on the rim. 
be cool to have three right here. I'm gonna put one more trap over this way. Don't pull too hard or you'll pull her right out. She's soft. You could pull it out, I wouldn't worry about it too much. We'll be able to get these ones back pretty easy. I think you got, I think you're on your chain. Just a little dab on the... And on the rim there. Yep, that'll work. Usually use a stick and just drop the stick in there, but that's a, no, that's good. Okay. Well, I got plenty. I don't have to worry about it. So. All right, let's move on. Well, guys, it's getting dark and it's hot. It's like 60 degrees, sweating bullets. I don't even know where I came down at. <laughs> we got quite a decent amount of dog fruit. It's probably the most I've had out in lots of years. We don't really, we catch plenty of raccoons in our coyote sets, so there's no real reason to go crazy. But we just said, look, we came here looking at beaver sign and seen all the raccoon sign and we're like, Something's got to happen here. This property is infested with raccoons, so we're going to see if we can take a few out. And like I said, we're going to set four days. Thursday today, we'll pull Sunday probably or Monday. We'll see uh, how the catch goes, but we want to definitely get out as many as we can. So I appreciate you being here. Stay tuned. We're going to see what we catch. Well, guys, we're back. Uh, we got a lot more time now. Obviously, we got a lot of the traps out. So I'll probably fill in a few dog fruits here and there, me and Clay. I found, I brought some colony traps. Clay's gonna put a 110, did you bring a 110? Oh, not today's not, but I got colony traps to put in these runs that the beavers have. Got a camera set and I had a beaver come and set my trap off and there's a muskrat behind him. And we got a spot where we can see the muskrat tracks going in and out. So I'm gonna put some colony sets in the deep runs and see what we can pick up. But here's our first check. Well, we got some critters on the way in, but we just left them. We're going to start at the back and work our way forward. Raccoon candy, a little bit of cat food. Now, actually, not a bad looking raccoon right there for late season. Not rubbed or anything. That one's going to go. That one's going to go in the first shed. So, got one here, didn't get touched. But we got a real nice one here on the hillside. We'll get the. We'll go get our stuff and reset it, but I'm going to go ahead and put them down. And we'll reset right on this trail. Trail going up this way, right along the water. They can't go around this way, so they're going up and around, finding their next way down. So, all right, stay tuned. All right, got my coon candy on the rim, and I stuck a big marshmallow on the trigger. It's all going to do for that one. Marshmallows are really cheap, but you can smell that that lure way over here. It's coming right with the wind, so that's what we want. I got this guy, I'm gonna go find a place to throw it in the hole. Somewhere where there's a run, because the muskrats are in here with the beavers. So I'm gonna go searching for a good spot for it. Well, I can see the coons went past our traps, but that's okay. It happens, but got one down here, he's a KOA. It's so muddy. Probably a poor female and all the males come along and took care of her. <laughs> She's uh, dead. But I got still got quite a few traps down there. This is raccoon number four already that we've got. We, we got two up there you haven't seen yet, but it's uh, a lot of raccoons, such a small property. It's literally <laughs> a couple hundred yards, Clay. Yeah. Stretch here of just a ditch. So uh, we'll get them, get them cruising every night here. I'll get this guy out and get her remade. I thought we'd get one right here, but it didn't happen. <laughs> well, I'm more out from that. Scrabbing into. Jesus. Well guys, I was walking through all this sloppy over shit over here, trying to find some, uh, with a coot where the beaver had to go under trees. I found a couple. I don't see nothing over there, do I? Maybe. 
There might, might be one, I can't tell. Well, we got one right here, boys. Everybody's like, why don't you just take a break and get your breath back? Because fucking three seconds we'll be back in the slop. But, Coon Candy strikes again. First check. Actually, it's a pretty one, but he's got a lot of mud on him. Old dog proof. Uh, I run a lot of Duke dog proofs, and they're pole only. I prefer pole only, but they do have a few sea traps. I don't really care. I've been giving them them away because I want them in a raffle. I don't. I don't really care for the push pole. So, we got anything up there? Look over there at the other end of that log. There's a run going right onto it. Other end on your right. See that big log? There's a trail going right onto that log. That all. Get him taken care of and we're gonna reset. We don't have to worry about freezing so the mud don't matter on the trap. So, all right, stay tuned. We're coon trapping. You wanna say something? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Another coon here with the old junk pile. Your traps, Clay, or mine? That's one of mine. I thought so. He drove her in there a little ways. But good looking raccoon. Hard to believe this time of year that they're still in good shape, but looks pretty good to me. Boy, it's windy. Woo. All right, we're gonna get them taken care of. We'll remake this. We got trails going every direction. 450 over there, garden. And one possum there and I saw another one somewhere I can't remember where I saw it coming in there's at least one possum or two over that way and we got a raccoon up there by the junk up there so at least we got some critters a lot of critters for it's literally right here that building this ditch goes about 200 yards and that's all we've tra all the traps where we caught it's really a lot of uh, nest raiders and you're gonna see that we got four more days of checking and you're gonna or three day, more checks so you're gonna see some some critters for sure so stay tuned well guys uh possum 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 but i swear that was a skunk from a distance look tell me you didn't think that was somebody out there in the world without looking at the tail you just see that white stripe from the background you're like yeah that's that's not good Awesome. What's up, buddies? Actually, we're pretty happy to get these out of here because uh, three too. possums in a row and we still got a couple traps up there. I mean, that's good for the turkeys get these guys out of here. I'd much rather, I'd honestly, I don't know. I'm on the fence. But you got one over there too. Did you check for bait on that one? But, so we got three possums in a row here and then we got a raccoon over there so far and then we got a couple more traps around that corn crib but we'll take that i'm pretty happy about that that it went <laughs> i said well we better back up boys we got a skunk but we just got an old grinner what's up buddy look at his ass got some big old teeth on him oh he actually bit i can't believe it they normally don't we gotta go over here. Yeah. Well. There's Pappy Yeah, grab him by the back of his neck. Okay. <laughs> There's our skunk. He didn't even pull your trap out. And it's in that yeah, it's in your Alcatraz trap too. Well guys, we got a skunk here. Hey, settle down there, Turbo. Hey. We're gonna do the old headshot and pray for the best. I can tell you what's going to happen. Oh God. Well guys, we had one another coon here on the, and two, we had two dog, two dog proofs. We got a coon out of this junk pile here, this old barn. So that's five coons, three possums off this little piece of property. We'll take that for a first check, won't we Clay? And a skunk. Yeah. Oh, and a skunk, yeah. And a skunk, and we've been playing around with a beaver. We got some muskrat sets in. There's a couple muskrat runs that were kind of squished by us. Hard to walk through the mud and not squish stuff. 
and the beaver sign ain't very good but there's beaver got them on camera so well let me know how many raccoons you guys think we'll get this is check one so we got saturday morning and sunday morning let me know how many raccoons you think we're gonna pull off of this you guys see the trails we got trails i mean there's a trail running from that coon we got a trail right over here that just is crazy going under here obviously a lot of this stuff was early season but there's fresh turd there trail runs all the way up and across and up right up by that tree there it is obviously your raccoons move a lot but maybe next year early season come in here and hammer them. but we're gonna get what we can while the season's still in so stay tuned